Good. So we've got our direction, and I, my question is, why isn't that the velocity vector? What is the speed of, if it was the velocity vector, what is the speed of this one? It should be 700, but if I actually figure out a squared is 4, b squared is 36, c squared is 9, the speed of this vector is only square root of 48. Or square root of 49 if you add it correctly. So 7. So the speed of this one, it actually would have been a better question if it worked out to square root of 48 and more math involved. But this one's speed is 7, 7 kilometers per hour. Right? That is pretty slow for a plane. It probably wouldn't fly. <laughs> or it may fly in a direction you do not want to fly. Well, it is <laughs> Right. No, but this is just telling the direction. It's not, we need to find the velocity vector. Well, velocity vector needs to have an x, a y, and a z just like this one does. It needs to be in the same direction as this one, but it needs to be a longer vector. So you can multiply everything by 100. Yeah. So in the end, it'll be 200, 600, and negative 300. Because if we multiply everything by 100, that will multiply its length by 100. Now, the reason I said root 48, what would you do then? You would find the unit vector first, right? We didn't have to find, for this one, if you wanted to find the unit vector of this one, it would be 1 7th of 2, 6, negative 3, right? That would give it a length of 1. Then if you wanted to, once you had a unit vector, you could multiply that unit vector by okay, well, 700. Can you see that the 700 and the 7 would make 100 and it would get you right back to there? <laughs> so as a, as a technique, the best technique that will work for all of them is find your unit vector, which has a length of 1, and then you multiply by your speed and then your velocity vector will for sure have that speed. 